everyone, Lindsay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x minus y whole square into dy by dx equals to a square. Solution. Given differential equation. x minus y whole square into dy by dx equals to a square. Consider it as equation 1. Let x minus y equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Divide dx of x minus y equals to d by dx of t that is derivative of x minus y with respect to x equals to derivative of t with respect to x then derivative of x with respect to x minus derivative of y with respect to x equals to derivative of t with respect to x then derivative of x with respect to x is 1 minus dy by dx equals to d dy dx. Then you can write this as simply by taking this term to RHS and this to LHS will get 1 minus dt by dx equals to dy by dx. Right. So when x minus y equals to t dy by dx equals to 1 minus dt by dx. Now, this becomes replace x minus y by t and get t square into dy by dx can be replaced by 1 minus dt by dx equals to a square. Then, 1 minus dt by dx equals to a square by t square then 1 minus a square by t square equals to dt by dx. Simply we will take this minus dt by dx to RHS and this to LHS. Okay. We are having 1 minus a square by t square equals to dt by dx. Then t square into 1, t square minus a square by t square equals to dt by dx. Then dx equals to simply we will write differential dx and function of x. In one side and differential dt and function of t on the other side. t square by t square minus a square into dt. So here we are having t square by t square minus a square. Represented by p of t by q of t. Here we are having p of t equals to t square. And its degree is 2. Q of t is t square minus a square whose degree is 2. Right. So degree of P of t equals to degree of Q of t. Since degree of P of t equals to degree of Q of t. From this we can say that this fraction is an improper fraction. Right, so we are having an improper fraction. Now what we'll do, we'll simply reduce this to a proper fraction using division. t square minus a square divides t square. 
t square minus a square since we are having t square right we need to cancel this t square so what we'll do is by multiplying divisor with 1 we'll get 21 which is equal to t square minus a square I change the signs t square gets cancelled we'll get remainder a square we know that divisor into quotient plus remainder gives dividend. We are having divisor t square minus a square. Integration 1 plus reminder a square is equal to t square minus a square plus a square. Here minus a square plus a square gets cancelled. We get t square which is our dividend, right? So now we can replace the numerator t square by t square minus a square plus a square since t square minus a square into 1 is t square minus a square plus a square equals to t square. Right. By t square minus a square. Consider t square minus a square as one term. Now we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So you can split the total expression into two terms. t square minus a square by t square minus a square plus a square by t square minus a square. So here t square minus a square gets cancelled. This is equals to 1 plus a square by t square minus a square. Right. So we are having t square by t square minus a square equals to 1 plus a square by t square minus a square. a square by t square minus a square can be represented by p of t by q of t. Here p of t equals to a square and its degree is 0. Since a square being constant polynomial. The degree of a constant polynomial is 0 and q of t polynomial of degree 2. So it's clear that p of t, degree of p of t is less than degree of q of t. Since degree of p of t is less than degree of q of t, from this we can say that this fraction is a proper fraction. So, we have reduced an improper fraction to a proper fraction, right? Now, we can replace the improper fraction by this. And this becomes dx equals to 1 plus a square by t square minus a square into dt. So here the variables are separable, right? We are having differential dt and function of t, differential dx. So here variables are separable. Now we can perform integration. Integral dx equals to integral of 1 plus a square by t square minus a square into dt. 
can write double as integral dx equals to integral 1 into dt is dt plus integral a square by t square minus a square into dt. Then integral dx equals to integral dt plus here a square is constant, right? So we can write this a square outside the integral. We get a square to integral 1 by t square minus a square into dt. Since we know that integral 1 by x square minus a square into dx equals to 1 by 2a into log mod x minus a by x plus a plus integral constant. And also we know that integral d theta equals to theta. Then this becomes integral dx equals to x equals to integral dt is t plus a square into for x equals to t and a equals to a integral 1 by t square minus a square is 1 by 2a log mod for x equals to t, t minus a by t plus a plus integral constant c. Okay, so here 1a gets cancelled, then x equals to t plus a by 2 into log mod t minus a by t plus a plus integral constant c. Since t equals to x minus y, now we can replace t by x minus y. Then this becomes x equals to 40 x minus y plus a by 2 into log mod t x minus y minus a by t plus a plus integral constant c. Or you can write this as x minus a plus a by 2 into log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a plus c equals to x then x minus y plus a by 2 log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a plus c. We can take this to RHS. It becomes minus x equals to 0 then. Plus x minus x gets cancelled. Then. Minus C plus A by 2 log mod X minus Y minus A by X minus Y plus A plus C equals to 0. Then A by 2 log mod X minus Y minus A by X minus Y plus A plus c equals to y, right? You can just write this as y equals to a by 2 log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a plus c which is the required general solution or you can take this c to LHS you get y minus c equals to a by 2 into log mod x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a since c being constant so you can write this minus c as plus c then y plus c equals to a by 2 into log mod 
x minus y minus a by x minus y plus a. Okay, which is the required general solution. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from variables as separable method. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.